Hello, 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 ladies and gentlemen, and welcome, welcome back to Transport Fever 2. I certainly hope you're having a fantastic day whenever and wherever you happen to be, because I'm excited. I'm really excited to be back. Why is this train stopping? What's going on here? Oh, that's why. Okay, so you're just going to block traffic perpetually. That's fine. Fair enough. Sorry. What are you stopping for? Oh, no. Oh, it's because you're merging. Oh, look at all this going on. How many people are on that train? 32. Oh, you probably don't make all that much money. That's fine. <laughs> all right. All right. Well, yeah, that's that's good. Uh, ooh. Yeah, not a not a lot of money being made on that line. We th oh, well, actually, that one has 160, so we're probably okay. Anyway. Anyway, it's been a couple of days since the last episode. I do apologize. I've been a little bit sick. I've been a little bit ill. I've uh, got a bit of a cold coming on, and it's 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 not terrible. It's just it's had me a little bit ill. I've not really been not really been in like the whole talking kind of mood. So I I took a little time to try and like just let my throat rest, and I feel a little bit better. And I really want to play more Transport Fever too. So here we are. We have almost got. 500 million dollars almost 500 million dollars that is ridiculous that is ridiculous money that is crazy money and what i kind of want to do with it is spend it on something that i are i would argue is probably not worth spending it on but i want to do it anyway because i'm really curious so i want to come in here to bedlington and I want to make some changes because I watched the launch trailer for Transport Fever 2 and I noticed that the city that was shown off in that trailer was kind of beautiful. It was really, it was a really nice looking city. So I want to see if I can make Bedlington a little bit nicer looking and that's going to cost a lot of money. Like it's 1.2 million just for that bit of road because of all the buildings we have to move. But I just feel like doing this you know i feel like we can upgrade all that stretch of road and i feel like we can go out here and we can upgrade all of this as well like out to say there i just feel like we could do some cool things here by spending a little bit of time trying to get some nicer roads going and that's kind of what i want to do to be totally honest that's that's kind of where i'm at i want to see if we can do some cool stuff with some roads. So I'm going to connect that up to about there. And that's going to be a little sort of connection over to Bedlington from, from that road if people want to use it. And I'm also thinking that what I want to do is I want to bulldoze back to like here and I'm going to disconnect from Dynam Market for a second and I'm going to just improve that entire stretch of road as well. So this whole thing can just come out for a second all of that can go away there's vehicles in the way there that's not good but that's all right but what we can do here is just bring an extra large country road straight down here just the entire way through we can bulldoze you a little bit further just bring this the entire way through towards down and market it's just a straight shot over to down and market which is exactly what i want it to be so that can be connected there this little bit can be upgraded and then these stretches of road just get reconnected to the uh, the main stretch of road right there. And that seems pretty good to me. Uh, this road here, I'm honestly thinking I want to bring it back a little bit. Uh, maybe a little bit further to about there. And then what we'll do is bring this guy over from that spot-ish, which there we go. The roads are being a bit weird. Oh, it's not going to let me do it with those vehicles there, is it? Okay, can I? Yeah, they're not going to move. Let me connect to there for a second so they can get off that bit of road just so that they're not blocking my uh, my my road here. So what I want to do is essentially that, right? And then we'll let this just connect sort of straight down to there. And that will be a way for all that traffic to go straight to Dynam Market. And if it wants to go over to Badlington, it can use that bit of road, which seems pretty good. It does mean that if it wants to go straight down, though... It would have to go to Dynam then back and use this little road. So I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. But I don't know if we have any traffic that goes that way. So I'm not gonna stress too much about it. Honestly, that's 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 not my problem. I don't think I have any traffic that does that. Or do I? Uh I might actually. 
no, I don't think I do. I think it comes down to here, which is a little bit of a delay, but that's sure. That's fine. That's that's probably all right. We're not going to stress too much about that. But I just want to do little things like this. I mean, Dynam itself could use a bit of an upgrade. It's it's looking pretty interesting. Like it's got all these like, no, I don't want not asymmetrical, but like the roads go everywhere, and there's some huge buildings in there, and I love it. But I think Badlington is going to be where this this idea of upgrading everything is really going to shine. So let me go to here and let me just upgrade this guy so that it's a bit of a larger street. And then honestly, I'm going to come through here. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to just bring this extra large street like right through. And then I'm thinking we could do the same right here as well. So the extra large street kind of carries through towards this road which leads out to the country as well so do that sort of thing the whole way through and there we go and then maybe that little road can be slightly smaller that bit of road can be slightly smaller and that just i think that just looks the part this whole road here could honestly probably do with an upgrade but i don't think i'm gonna get the option because this is slightly in the way so we'll not stress too much there but I just, I like that. I like the idea that we can maybe do some cool stuff here and maybe turn Badlington into a much more efficient town, as it were. Because look at this. This is a tiny little street here. So I want to go in there, and I'm thinking it needs to be upgraded as well. So the whole way around there, I mean, we can't really upgrade in front of the train station, but that's fine. That whole little road there has been upgraded. And then this road here can get upgraded. And then this right down here, honestly... I'm looking at it. I'm thinking we can change that entire stretch of road. I'm thinking this bridge can be changed. There's so much here that I, I think we can change. And there's maybe not a lot of point to doing this, but I want to do it because it's just, it's kind of fun. You know, it's something a little bit different. Ooh, it's got a fair, we should really try boats today as well. I think we're gonna, I think we're gonna give boats a shot today and see what we can do with them because we've not really played with them yet. And I am really curious to see what we can do with, uh, did I just, I just get rid of a bus stop, didn't I? Did I just get rid of it? I did. Oh, dear. Uh, buildings. Bus tram stop back there, please. Did that fix it? It did. All right. That's good. That would have been a little bit awkward. Uh, what is this? Country road. Let's go for the large street really quick. And let's just have this curve down to there a little bit. So it's going to curve to, well, maybe more like there. And then it's going to turn into a large country road. And I'm just going to have it go like this. So it's going to sort of go down towards, I guess, that factory. So if I connect it like, like that, that seems all right. And it actually gives the road three different directions to go as well, which seems like the, the right thing to do there. So we'll do, we'll do that. We'll see how it plays out. Let's maybe just upgrade... I mean, we could upgrade to a large country road. I don't think we're going to. But I think that'll be okay. I think that kind of works. I'm hoping that that'll sort of become a main road into Badlington. I'm definitely hoping. And I'm definitely thinking that we should uh, probably go in here as well and just, you know, get this thing connected again. Because it's it's probably going to want a little bit of a connection there. So we'll just do... We'll do that right about there. And uh, that should be fine. We could, if we really wanted to, do a little one-way road on that. I'm not going to bother. And that is a thing. Like, I, I've seen a lot of comments from, honestly, a lot of people that have said, hey, you could do, like, decorative stuff. You could do this. You could do one-way roads and one-way systems. I don't... I don't know that I want to, honestly. Because, to, to be honest, I, I'd be really nervous. Genuinely. I'd be really genuinely nervous about doing that. I, I'm not even sure why. I just feel like I would be. Anyway, let me measure this really quickly. So this is about a hundred thousand. So 99977. And then on this side, we want to try and get something similar. So 99977 is roughly 999. Ooh. Let's go there. And that'll roughly be the same on each side. I take that back. It looks hideous, but we'll do we'll deal with it. That's fine. Uh, let's just let's just continue you straight over, which is that's about a straight line there. And then maybe we upgrade that actually. That might want to be just a bigger road. To be to be totally honest, it probably should be. In fact, let's make it let's make it a thick boy. Let's make it a thick road right there. 
and then do that as well. So that's a nice thick, thick road. We can probably just continue it straight through. So something like uh, something like this can just continue straight over. And then maybe go up like uh, up to that intersection or something. Might not be a bad spot. Give it a few different directions that it can go. All that good stuff. I do have vehicles in that intersection though. So they're going to need to move before I can do this. There we go. So that would give it... That would give it a few different directions that it can go there. Which is, I guess, kind of what we want. Can I do this? Oh, that's hideous. Um, I don't know that I want to do... I don't know that I want to do this, but I'm going to try it. Um, ugh, no, let's, let's not do that. Let's just push this straight through and we'll just keep it going, keep it going and then curve it into that little road, I guess, which seems like a weird place to have this thing connect. Just looking at it definitely seems like a, like a weird choice. Yeah, that seems really weird to me, but okay, we'll do it anyway. It's, it's probably all right. We'll just sort of downgrade that little bit and then the rest of it's probably fine I guess I don't know it it pushes straight through regardless that's fine that's that's kind of what we're going for by any chance can I bring that road down there I actually can do that so I'm gonna do that instead so that whole stretch can go and then this can go over to there I'm not sure that's gonna be as efficient as it was but it just looks better so there we go. That kind of comes through there and actually gives me a little bit of room because I do kind of want to build on this side of the train tracks as well. So let's run the simulation. Let's just kind of let everything catch up. I want to see what things do. I want to get rid of that road because it looks terrible. But I just want to see, I want to see what traffic manages to do. I want to see it move around a little bit differently. And I want to see all my vehicles maybe adjust a little bit as well. Uh, they're not interested in using this road, which is fine, I guess. Uh, they are using that one. They're still using all this, which is good. And it just, I don't know. I think it just looks, I think this just looks better going into Bedlington. You know, I think Bedlington's just got a bit of a better shot when it comes to being an actual city at this point, because it has some actual proper roads going in and out of it. Although this one, I'm just looking at it. I want to, uh, I want to make that a little better looking because it really doesn't need to be the the total mess that it was there so we can just do that and that looks all right i mean it raises up but that's fine so yeah that that's a bit of a better road so we'll let that do its thing we'll let badlington do whatever I, i'm aware it's not our main hub by the way i know budley salterton is very much our main hub but i mean budley is there, there's i would say there's too much infrastructure in budley for me to want to touch that right now so we're not gonna do that but I do think I kind of need to get another... I kind of need to get another cargo train here, I'm thinking. I mean, this thing this thing is producing pretty nicely. This is producing amazingly. Like, it really is. This over here is producing amazingly. So, honestly... Why is that still... That's still a dirt road. Why? Why? Why is that still a dirt road? Hold on a minute. Fix that. Shouldn't be a dirt road. What's what's that about? And then that's a tiny little road there. Oh my god. Okay. Whatever. That's that's fine. Either way, I'm thinking we might need another cargo train. The only thing is we're not moving much in the way of I take that back. We have a lot of goods there. I was going to say we're not moving a lot of goods, but we we are. We filled up the goods capacity of the train. So that's not bad. Uh, we do have 65 still left though, so we could maybe upgrade the train, give it a bit more, give it a bit more something, something. So let's take a look here, see what we can do. So multiple units, that's a passenger train, that's a passenger train, uh, wagon, not wagons, uh, locomotives. So what do we got? We got you, you can do 75, 106. I'm pretty sure we're using the, the one that can do 106 right now, aren't we? Or we're using this one? I'm not, I think we're using the China Railways one. So this one is slower. Which is fair enough. Uh, for wagons, I mean, the fastest we can do is 99. So really, I guess we'll put something together here. So locomotives, let's have a little look. 
So 106 will add you. And then for wagons, we want cargo. And we want to be able to move goods. And we want to be able to move fuel. So let's do... One, two, three, four, five of those. And then five of those. Or maybe we'll do six of each. One, two, three, four, five, six. This thing doesn't push as well as I'd like it to. So we could then throw another one of those in the back. So that'll move really, really well is what that'll do. That'll move really, really well. I am just thinking I want to do one little detail with it, though. One one little detail. I want to make this thing bright green. Maybe a dark green. We'll go for bright green on that. And then we'll add it. And then we'll do... We'll go back to this and we'll just do uh, one, two, three. Oh, I don't want those to be green, though. No, 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 no. Those can be uh, their default. Co I wish I could get, like, a black in here. That'd be kind of nice. Well, so what are these? These are moving goods. I guess we'll do like, nah, we'll just do, we'll do their normal color. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then these guys, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we'll go to you in bright green and add it. And yeah, I think we'll give this a shot. It's 61 million. We'll buy it. Why not? I don't, I don't we have the money, you know, it's no problem. And this goes on the... I don't know. I don't know what line this goes on. Uh, I think it's that one. Fuel, molten. Yeah, that's fine. So we'll put it on that line, and we'll see how that plays out. It's gonna be a. It's gonna. It's a big train. It is. It is a big train. But it has got a lot of power, so it's not gonna be super slow, which is good. That's that's exactly what we want. We don't want it to be super slow. So it can head off and do its thing. I actually just want to make sure. Actually, I think the line's fine. Uh, so yeah, we'll see. We'll see how that plays out. It's moving like it, it got up to speed there pretty quickly. And it looks pretty cool too, doesn't it? That, that's a pretty good look there. Oh wow, there's a little bit of dirt road there. Can we fix that? Why is why is that there? Hold on a minute, just get you. Oh, I can't do it. Okay. Oh, okay. We just got a new a new passenger wagon. All right. Not bad. Definitely not bad. I'm wondering when we're going to start getting some more new things, though, because as it stands, we we don't really have that many. We we I mean, we're getting we're getting new things here and there, but not that many. Oh, that's cool. Oh, look at that. That, that was really cool, actually. I'm also not sure. Are you supposed to stop at Molten or Badlington when you're going north? I genuinely don't know actually uh how much have we got 372 so this thing should be able to pick up plenty which will be good so it's this this is gonna load up and be full of fuel and then we're waiting on i guess the other we're waiting on this one getting out of there which is interestingly being pulled by what speed can this do should we send that thing back and go for the new train? I'm thinking we might want to. It's got 18 million in value, so it's not awful. Might not be a bad idea, though. Also, can that, that can just about fit in that station. Good lord. Okay. All right. Well, it's loaded up. It's completely full. And then it just turns around and heads back, which is beautiful. That's really cool. That's really... I love it. I love that. That's such a cool looking train. All right. I do want to head down here. I do want to wait for the other cargo train to get here. So this one. Because I don't think it's as fast. Yeah, it's doing 62 right now. So once it drops off the goods or the fuel, I think we're going to go ahead and sell it. And I'm thinking we're maybe going to duplicate the other one, the 60-something million one, because it's doing all right. It's, it's speed-wise, it seems like it's a lot faster. It's obviously got a lot more power going on. So we'll do that, and we'll see how that plays out for us. There's also a lot of goods in here. Oh, my God, there's a lot of goods in there. All right. So let me... Money. There we go. Three million. Not bad. Uh, sell you. There we go. 18 million back. Not bad. 
How many goods? 208. Not bad either. I'm saying not bad a lot here, aren't I? Uh, you're doing pretty good in production. So we might see an upgrade on that again in the near future, which is brilliant. Or you could argue it's not bad. Uh, is this my cargo train? No, where is my cargo train? Is that my cargo train? Where is my cargo? Where is it? There it is. Uh, so you, we want to go to you. We want to go to manage vehicle. We want to duplicate. There we go. A nice healthy 63 million gone again. Doesn't seem too bad. Uh, so 120 units of fuel coming down here. What is that going to get us? That gets us 6.4 million. Okay. And then it just loads up in 120 uh, goods and heads on its way. That's exactly what we want. I mean, it's that, that seems like a much better cargo setup, honestly. Let's have a little look at you guys then. So you are actually not full, which is terrifying. Are these things not working as efficiently as they once were? It seems like they might not be. Yeah, they're not. So your production's up there. You're filling up a little bit. It seems like we might have hit that threshold where we maybe don't have as much uh, demand on these lines anymore. Let me have a look here. So balance, balance is fine. We can actually look at the lines just overall, I suppose, and uh, and see how we're doing. So balance, yeah. So that is our second most profitable line. Interestingly, the cargo planes aren't making as much as they once were, but they're still making 48 million. So I'm not going to complain. This line is doing pretty good too. That's a single train doing that. So that's not bad. Do we have any old vehicles still going about? These guys here, what age are you? 29. Your condition's very bad. Okay. What about you? Details, 29. Condition pretty bad. We're going to want to look into upgrading a lot of our vehicles again in a second. I think a lot of old buses still trotting about. Uh, oh, that's that's disappointing. Our passengers are just not doing much. That that is that's disappointing. I was hoping that would do well. Uh, the Penzance, Budley, Bedford, and what I, I don't remember line not making much either. I was I, that line used to be so profitable. That line used to be so. I mean, it's, it's four hundred and thirteen people on. I guess it fluctuates. I don't know. I don't know if it's consistently uh, profitable, I suppose, is is the way to look at it. But I guess we'll figure that out shortly. Anyway, I do want to go to my vehicle manager and I do want to start sorting by the oldest vehicles. Because we, yeah, so that might be part of it, actually. The fact that these trains are 39 years old and 35 years old and all of that. And I'm debating whether or not it's worth keeping such an expensive... Because it's it's 11.8 million a year. Also, I'm just realizing, can I switch the game's currency to pounds? Is, I just I just need to know here. Um, Interface, is it... I don't, know, I, don't, I don't know. Money, number, format, full. I don't know if I can. I was just curious. Anyway, uh, yeah, so... I'm debating whether or not it's worth keeping such an expensive train. I just don't know. Anyway, let's let's manage this line first. Not manage the line, sorry. Uh, manage the vehicles first. Select all of them. And I guess we can replace them with passenger. I mean, this thing can carry 21 people. Which is not bad. It's, it's not bad, but... I guess the Maz 103 can do 19. Let's let's do that, because I think that might be a better idea. And then here we've got 29-year-old buses as well. So let's manage those vehicles and replace them with the Maz 103 in bright green. Uh, we've got a bunch of trucks here as well. They're moving grain. So we'll do that. That doesn't seem as profitable as it once was, but that's fine. Uh, so those guys can be replaced by cargo. We need something that can move grain really nicely. Uh, looking like it'll probably be, probably be you right there. So we'll do that in nice and blue. These guys are moving machines. So let's get you replaced with, let me see. I guess it's going to be you as well in, uh, bright yellow. So there we go. That's those sorted. These guys are 29 as well. It's another grain line. 
just a lot of a lot of old lines here needing a bit of a uh, little bit of love. So there we go. That's that sorted. Food to Donum. How many 29 year old vehicles do we have? Um, let's get down to here with the 20 year old buses and then we'll sort the trains because I'm thinking that's uh, I'm thinking I want to try and do something different with those trains, honestly. So that's food to Donum as well. So let's get you in that color. And then this is machines to dynam. There are a lot of things to dynam. The dynam lines have not got a lot of love, apparently. Really, really haven't got a lot of love here. So that's that's a little disappointing. The Penzance loop isn't having a great time either. We'll go ahead and just get that upgraded to the Maz 103 there. The South Molten Airport Express. We've had the airports for 27 years. Good lord. Uh, let me grab both those. Duplicate. I don't know why I duplicated because I could have just got the new vehicles, but whatever. Uh, we'll do... We'll go for that as well in purple. And let me see. We've got some pretty old planes as well. The 757s are getting pretty old. I didn't realize we'd be, uh, we'd be looking at replacing those. Interesting. Okay. That... I didn't, I didn't expect that. I'm going to be honest. We'll upgrade, we'll duplicate those as well. And then that's the Penzance Airport Express, which can be upgraded to the Maz as well in purple and duplicated. All right. So are we going to upgrade these planes? That's, that's, that's eight vehicles. That's going to be quite expensive. Uh, cargo. So we're, we're currently using the 757, 200. So this, it's a big plane, the 737. I mean, it can carry 51. This thing can do... This thing can do 54. But it's not quite as fast. Do we maybe... Do we maybe move away from Boeing for a couple of years? My worry is that we're probably really close to getting a new Boeing plane. So I think we're going to stick with the Boeing planes for a little bit longer. They are cargo planes, and I think Bo I think cargo planes usually stay in service a little bit longer than passenger planes do. And 27 years, I'm, I don't know if that, I don't know how old that is for a plane. I think that's getting towards the end of its its life there. I mean, it's, uh, it's mediocre condition at the minute, so definitely not, not perfect, but that's, that's probably all right. Um, let's look at these trains, I guess. Let's, let's figure out what we're doing there. So Penzant, I mean... I'd, I'd like to maybe replace all of them. I just don't know what way I'd do it. Because in terms of the multiple units, so this thing goes out of service. It wasn't, well, it doesn't go out of service. It wasn't built from 2014 onwards. We're currently in 2011. It is extremely fast though. So look, I mean, it's 39 years old. I'm, it has a 49 year lifespan. So I'm going to take a guess and say that the chances are in the next year or two in game, we're maybe going to unlock another high speed train. And then what we'll do is we'll spend probably hundreds of millions going through and replacing all of our old high speed trains with the new one. That seems like the way to do things, to be totally honest. That, that absolutely seems like the way to do things. So that's 100% what we're going to do. I am a little disappointed that we're not moving as much on the line that goes to here, though. That train line. It's not its not moving as much as I would have liked. This thing is doing really well for itself, though. Got a lot in storage. Got a lot of production going on. Just, you know, a lot of demand for it as well. And I guess these guys are probably still making tremendous amounts of money, right? Yeah, 9.9 .9 million. Can't really be bad to that, I suppose. I just wish it was a little more. To tell you the truth, I just, I just a little bit more would have been, uh, would be nice on that. But whatever. I imagine, I, I, I don't think we're gonna have any money problems anytime soon. I'm also realizing that, uh, is it you that moves the goods back and forth there? Yeah, Badlington Goods Loop. So you grab the goods from there, and then you take them to the other side of town. I'm pretty sure. So yeah, you head along that road kind of slowly to be fair, but then you just drop it off over there and that's fine. So that's, that's all right. We, we've got goods moving back and forth across Badlington. How much money does that get? I need to know. I can't imagine it's much. 50, 56,000 honestly isn't bad. 
genuinely, that's not bad. So I guess can't really complain. And I imagine we're probably going to see more goods uh, going into uh, to Badlington in in the near future. What with the bigger trains and all that. Also, good lord. So the Penzance line is it is there is demand for it. There's like 300 odd people want to go to uh, to Badlington there. I guess it's just not pop like the Penzance to Budley line just isn't popular anymore. That's maybe where it's losing its money. And I mean, that's that's a distance. I'm not really sure why that's not as popular. It's not like people are, I mean, they might be driving it, but it seems like it would be quicker to, uh, it seems like it would be quicker to, to get the train. I don't know. I don't know. That's a bit weird to me. That is, that is definitely a bit weird to me, but we'll not, we'll not stress too much about it. I suppose it's not that big a deal. Good news is it looks like Bedlington, like old, like the new roads and all that stuff. They, they look like they're working to me. Which I really enjoy. I'm, that makes me really, really happy. That uh, like traffic's using all the lanes, which is, you know, to, to be fair, you don't get traffic using all the lanes very often in a city builder. That's that's something that uh, I didn't think I'd see in my lifetime. To be uh, to be honest with you, uh, I didn't think I'd see it. But there it is. Uh, I am wondering though, like I mentioned earlier, if I can build on the other side of this this train station. And I was gonna come in and I was gonna put some buildings here, but I actually realized I wanna do I wanna get rid of you. I wanna get rid of you. And you can stay. But this bit here needs to be changed. So you're gonna be like that. And then I think you can maybe connect straight through to uh something like that as well. Because what I want to do is I want to bring this straight over. I don't know if it's going to lap me with the signals there, though. I might need to move those. Uh, what be the best way to do this? Let me get rid of you and you and you and you. And then we'll put those back in a second once I get the road in there. So this goes... Apparently not straight over. Okay. Can I go straight over here? No. Really? Really? It's not, I don't want to do a bridge. And I don't really want to come off of here either. Can I, I can do that really? That's, it's gonna, let, so it lets me do that. It doesn't let me do that. That seems a bit weird. Okay, well, I guess we'll do, we'll do this. Which is definitely, definitely weird, but okay. Uh, we'll do that, we'll do, we'll, we'll place it. Let's get our signals in here really quick, because we are going to want those back. So, signal there and there and there and about there. Okay. And then this guy is... Where are you going? So, you're going in that way? Okay. So, that, that makes sense. So, it's going in that way. Uh, let me see. We probably want a signal here. And I guess that's okay. So yeah, that'll 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 work out. Um, we're gonna bulldoze this neighborhood. Wait, no, hold on. What are we what are we getting rid of? Are we getting rid of any of like any buildings I've placed? Yeah, confirmed destruction. There we go. Uh, so bulldoze all of that. We have the money to do it. It's fine. And then come in here and do that sort of thing. So that's gonna connect straight down. And that brings us a road just kind of nicely over. I mean that that's that's interesting looking. Can I maybe go from there instead? Maybe go like that. I don't I don't want this to look I don't want this to look awful. That looks a little better. I mean it's a bit of a steep hill there, but that's that that's alright. And then down here we can just bring this as a slightly smaller road. Can actually take it under the bridge if we really want to, which to be honest, why not? And then maybe straight over like that. Not really sure how to feel about that. Looks a little strange, but we'll see how that plays out. And then let me just do... Say that. And let me put some, like, regular roads in here. I'm not sure if these will actually get used, is the thing. But I'm going to do that and see if it will just maybe, like, inspire uh, the game to start building some things out there. 
We'll do this as well. And we'll do this. And I just want to see if it does actually start, you know, building some stuff out there. Because if it does, I'll be so happy. I think it'll look so good to have a train station right in the middle of the town. Like, I genuinely do. I think that would look absolutely awesome. So here's hoping. Here, here is, is definitely hoping. I'm hoping that Bedlington can uh, get that little bit of a, a little bit of an upgrade that it needs. What are you carrying right now? So you're carrying 120 fuel. Not bad. Where's the other one? Where's the, is that the other one there? No, that is a passenger line. All right. Oh, three new vehicles are available. We got the Bombardier CS300, which looks pretty small. We got some new boats. Got a new train that can do 99 miles per hour. Not bad. That's not really what I was looking for in terms of new vehicles, but okay. I'll tell you what I do really want, though. I really want to see if I can get, like, more boats. Not more boats, but boats in general going. Because I'm thinking that... If this bridge over here is high enough, which it might be, we could get boats that go from Dunham Market to Penzance with passengers. Not that I'm necessarily thinking that people would really want to do that, but we could. That, that, is a, that is a thing we could do. We could also potentially go from Winchester to Fowey all the way around to Warminster. And Warminster actually looks like it could, uh, could connect almost down to Harwich, which would be kind of interesting. I just... This is the thing, though. I don't really know. I don't really know where we, uh, where we could do boats on this map. You know, it's not really a map that I think. Oh my god! Why are there bricks here? Why are there bricks here? What? What are you doing? Where are they? Where are you taking those? Br what? Why are there bricks here? What are you doing? Hold on a minute. Um, can I, uh, this line manage? What are you doing? So here you are loading, right? Y you load up on things here. You don't, we don't need your bricks down here. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay. Well, this is a disaster, isn't it? Um, Manage line. That's fine. Manage line. Just do whatever. Just, just do whatever. If you don't have, if you don't have anything to drop off, don't drop anything off. All right. Also, why are my earnings 124 million right now? Where did that just come from? Oh, the planes are making money again. Good. Well, that's good. 70. Okay, a solid 76 million dollars. Fair enough. Um. Wow. Are these guys loading? What are you doing? So you're loaded up on that. So where are these bricks going to go? That's that's my question. So, like, these guys are supposed to be loading up on stone, I think. I'm really not... Like, you guys are stone... Yeah, you guys are supposed to be loading... Oh, boy. All right, well, that's probably a lost cause, isn't it? You got, oh, you got some stone. There you go. So they're starting to figure out what they're supposed to be doing. That's nice. So we'll let them, uh, we'll let them do their thing. Isn't this a very profitable line right now? Yeah, nine point something million. Oh my god. Uh, four hundred twenty-four there. I'm thinking that, uh, I'm thinking you can be duplicated. To be totally honest with you, so let's do that. There we go. So we'll have another one of those go and uh, do its thing. And honestly, I'm thinking that uh, you let me. What is this? Ooh, we got more trucks. Oh, we got more trucks. Exciting, right? Can I tell you to stop for a second right there? Because what I want to do is I want this train here to load up and then like get a decent bit of the way to the drop off and then let the other one go. So they're kind of, you know, sort of half and half along the, uh, along the line, basically. Although, is there enough for you to pick up there? 171, 300, no. I might have made a mistake. I might have made a mistake. You know what? You can just go do your thing. I'm sure that'll be fine. We'll figure out how that goes. Harwich, what is... That's an interesting building. Sorry, that just caught my eye. 
is is what that did. Right, so we got new trucks. I need to know, are those new trucks more efficient than my old trucks? We have, let me see here. Let me go to vehicle manager. What are my oldest trucks right now? So, interestingly, this thing's now 42 years old. Uh, so these guys on the Budley Oil, so the Budley Oil lines. Let's look at those. So manage vehicle. Let's let's have a little look here. If we were to go to replace, we were to go to cargo. So this guy, the 40-ton tank truck, can carry 30 units. This one can carry 38. Interesting. Okay. Okay. Uh, 32 versus 25. Uh, 38 versus 30. And then a dedicated dump truck as well. Oh, my God. Okay. Okay. Right. Well, this will be interesting. They're quite expensive. But I'm kind of okay with that. So, line manager really quickly. Let's have a look for the Budley oil lines. So, you. We need to go to you, actually. Uh, so, that one's been sorted. This one can be upgraded to the new trucks as well. Again, quite expensive, but that's fine. Uh, then you can be upgraded to the new trucks in that color. And then you can be upgraded to the new trucks as well. So all of the Budley lines. I'm noticing this seems to be a trend. The Budley lines generally seem to get used as like the testing ground for, uh, for everything. Which is kind of okay. So that's, that's those sorted at least. They've got the new trucks. They'll start moving even more fuel. Definitely, uh... Interesting looking trucks. Definitely interesting looking trucks. That's a lot of fuel. That is a lot of fuel. Well, that'll hopefully get moved to the train in a timely manner. I'm wondering... How many, only three vehicles in that line? Huh. Okay. Uh, Manage vehicles. I guess... Are they the new ones? I don't think they are. So replace you in that lovely brine color. And that should help things a little bit now that they can carry just a bit more down to the trains also speaking of trains i guess we should have a little look here and just see what else we've got so by vehicles uh this one so this one can carry 115 people i guess it is 2014 so that other one's not gone out of service that's that's interesting it's not as fast it's just not and i don't know that i want I mean, in terms of locomotives, the fastest locomotive we have is this one at 106. And then the passenger wagon, this wagon can do 124. You know, let's, let's experiment a little bit, I guess. Let's get ourselves a China Railways SS9G. It can do 106. We'll add it to the line. Let's get ourselves some of those wagons. The capacity is not amazing, but whatever. We can go up to, like, that size, I guess. Uh, and we can throw another... I'm going to throw another China Railways thing on there. Quite a long train, but... Oh, I don't want it to be... I don't I don't want to do too many of those, to be honest. Uh, I'll be real with you. Uh, so we'll do that. It has a 184 capacity. Can I make... Let's just buy the thing. Let's just buy the thing and see what happens. Uh, and let's make it... Dark blue. Let's put it on that Penzance line. I just want to see what happens, honestly. I want to see if that improves things. I mean, it's going to make the Penzance line incredibly, incredibly not profitable. But I just want to see what that does. If anything at all. I'm also going to be really annoyed if we're about to unlock a new high-speed train. But that's fine. That's that's just the way of it. That's just the way it is. I also want to see what speed this thing can get up to. Because it's not got the two... With the with the two trains on it, with the two locomotives, I'm wondering if it'll go at all faster. I don't know. I don't really know if that's how... I don't really think that's how it works, but... We'll figure it out. If anything, it might just slow down the rest of the, the, rest of the line a little bit, but... I mean, it's got 150 people on it at the minute. That's not terrible. This whole train is... It is... You know what? It's less. That thing is less than the high-speed tra uh, trains. It's not as fast. You know, it's, it's peaking out at 106 there. 
but it costs less. You know what? Let's change that Penzance line. Let's do it. Let's just let's just let's just bite the bullet here. It's down here. It's not profitable. It just isn't. So manage vehicles. I mean, let's look at you specifically. Details. 11.8 million a year. And then you. Seven. Okay, 7.9 in good condition. That's fair because it's only 13 years old. Um, and then you, 11.8 million a year. Uh, your condition's very good. So, so the running costs seem to vary a little bit. Whatever. You know what? I'm going to sell them. I'm going to sell all of them. I don't care if they have passengers. And I'm going to duplicate you. I'm going to do it again. We're going to have three of those is what we're going to have. And I imagine that's going to bring the frequency of that line down a little bit. But that's okay. Because they're newer trains. They're a little bit cheaper. Not to buy up front. But they're just cheaper to run. So there we go. That can come in. It fits in the station quite nicely. We could have actually gone for a, a, a larger locomotive there. Which probably wouldn't have been a bad idea. But whatever. It's full. So it's off on its way. To do its thing. This right here is still working kind of nicely. I'm just wondering when we're going to get new planes, if ever. It's 2015, though. I, I genuinely don't know. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I think... I think we're going to leave it there for today, is what we're going to do. We're going to leave it there. Next time, I want to take a really good look at sort of everything, to be totally honest, because I know that we still... We still haven't connected this farm, and I'm thinking that farm could maybe be connected over just to here to give Warminster a bit more food. Not that I, I think it needs it. I think Warminster is... It's growing. It doesn't... Oh, it doesn't have as much food as it needs. Okay, so Warminster... 100... Why is my... I am not doing that. There we go. <laughs> that was that was interesting. Camera just decided to move on its own. But yeah, Warminster could use a bit more food, Is is what it's looking like, so... Hopefully we can uh, we can get our hands on that and get that sorted. Bedlington is is honestly looking all right. It's it's looking pretty good. I I'm quite pleased with it. Uh, let's see here. Dunham Market, a lot of traffic wanting to get in and around there. I'm actually realizing it looks like it's because of that road there. So what if we were to be so bold? As to be a little bit cheeky and go like this. Can we can we do that? Is that is that a bit much? Might be a bit much, but let's see what that does for us. Because that should let traffic sort of avoid. Oh, 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 oh 186 miles per hour. Foxing. Wow.